Introduction to Insolvency and Bankruptcy Welcome to Catherine and Partners Guide on Bankruptcy. Before we explore what bankruptcy entails, let's understand some key concepts. Insolvency occurs when an individual or business cannot pay their debts as and when they fall due. This guide will clarify terms such as bankruptcy, debtor, creditor, and bankruptcy trustee to help you navigate this complex area. What is bankruptcy? Bankruptcy is a legal process where an individual can be declared to be unable to pay their debts as and when they fall due. When an individual becomes bankrupt, it allows them to make a fresh start and provides a new beginning. How can an individual become bankrupt? There are two ways that an individual can become bankrupt in Australia. Firstly, an individual can voluntarily enter bankruptcy, which is known as a debtor's petition. To do this, the individual must complete and submit a bankruptcy form with the Australian Financial Security Authority. The second way is that a creditor can make an individual bankrupt through the court process. This is referred to as a sequestration order or a creditor's petition. What do I have to do if I become bankrupt? When an individual becomes bankrupt, a bankruptcy trustee is appointed to manage the bankrupt estate. When becoming bankrupt, the bankrupt has an obligation to complete a bankruptcy form and to assist the bankruptcy trustee by providing information that is requested. The bankruptcy form provides the bankruptcy trustee with information regarding details of the individual's debts, income and assets. It also notifies their creditors that the individual is bankrupt and prevents most creditors from contacting the bankrupt regarding their debt. What powers does a bankruptcy trustee have? The bankruptcy trustee is provided with powers under the Bankruptcy Act 1966 to manage the bankrupt estate. Some of these powers include selling off certain assets that the individual has, to pay off their debt, and reviewing the individual's income to assess whether they are liable to make compulsory contributions if their income exceeds certain thresholds. Can a bankrupt travel overseas? When a bankruptcy trustee is appointed over a bankrupt estate, the bankruptcy trustee will normally request that the bankrupt surrender their passport to the bankruptcy trustee's office. During the bankruptcy, the bankrupt can make an application to their bankruptcy trustee to travel overseas and return their passport. The bankruptcy trustee has discretion to allow the bankrupt to travel if they are satisfied that the bankrupt is meeting their obligations in the estate. How long does a bankruptcy last? The bankruptcy process normally lasts about three years and one day from the date the bankruptcy form is lodged with the Australian Financial Security Authority. However, a bankruptcy trustee may apply to the Australian Financial Security Authority to have the bankruptcy period extended to five or eight years if the individual fails to maintain their obligation during the bankruptcy. Some instances where a bankruptcy trustee may apply to have the bankruptcy period extended could be that the bankrupt fails to make a contribution payment, deliberately provides false or misleading information, or fails to disclose a beneficial interest in property. At Cathro & Partners, we specialize in handling bankrupt estates and offering expert advice tailored to each individual's needs. For more information or a no-obligation consultation, please contact one of our experts.